Friends, if you look into this piece of text, then at first glance, this piece of writing might seem suitable for publication or submission to universities. However, from my perspective, this is one of the weakest examples and cannot be considered for even Q4 level publication. So why do I say that? To understand it, you have to watch this video carefully. Hello everyone and welcome you all to your favorite channel, My Research Support and today in this video we will be discussing about 7 common mistakes that we usually make during our research writing and because of that most of our research articles would be rejected from different journals so today in this video we'll discuss about how you can fix all these mistakes smartly by using ai and while doing that we'll also take care of the ai scores as well means parallelly it should not increase ai scores of your documents so without any further ado let's start now we will consider this paragraph to understand what kind of seven mistakes that we usually make so this is a paragraph which i have written in my own words so obviously it will show 0% AI score. So when you generate anything by using any AI tool entirely, then only it will be showing 100% AI score. But in this video, in order to fix this writing mistakes, we'll be considering some corrective type of algorithms or rewriting type of algorithms. And we'll only be considering some intermittent text or sentences. So if you're following this, then definitely your text won't be detected under any AI detection tools. Now, let's turn towards the first point, which is lack of literature integration. So in this paragraph, there are many sentences, those needs proper citations. So let us talk about this sentence. Some studies say sleep affects performance. That's why it matters. So when you talk about some studies, literature reveals as per the literature. So in that case, either we must provide proper citations or proper source like Kumbar et al investigated, Young et al investigated, etc. But as you have only put some studies, then that becomes vague statement. So now we'll see that with the help of AI, how you can smartly change this sentence or correct this sentence. But prior to that, if you look into this paragraph, so after I wrote this paragraph, I've gone through each of the sentences. Then I found that few of the sentences are really good. Let us say this sentence, this sentence is really good. So I won't be touching to this sentence. However, I have intentionally highlighted few of the sentences. So that does mean there is some problem with the sentences. And one by one, we'll be discussing about how you can quickly correct these sentences so that your entire paragraph would become very strong. Now, in order to correct all these mistakes, what I will do is I'll just copy this paragraph into Jenny AI's interface. See, you can use any AI tool, but I personally prefer this Jenny AI. So I'll be pasting the entire paragraph here. Now, let me quickly correct my mistake and which is related to these types of sentences. Some studies say sleep affects performance. That's why it matters. I need to add relevant research evidence or citation to support this claim. So simply you have to select these types of sentences and you have to click on cite. Then here you will get highly cited research articles related to your selected text then if you want then you can sort it by year relevance or number of citations and then simply you have to click on cite and then you can see this relevant citation is now added to support your claim you may change the citation style from here now let us say you don't want to only add these research articles but along with that you need to modify this sentence then also you can do that and for that you have to click here and then you need to use this AI chart. You have to copy this sentence and paste it into this prompt box. Now in order to correct this mistake, I may need to use one prompt. So this is the prompt add relevant research evidence or citations to support this claim. So I'll be using this prompt and rewrite the sentence enter. And you can see this, this sentence is rewritten with proper citations. So obviously if you need concise version, then again you can put this prompt as make it short or concise now if i think that if this is the best version then i can click on add to document and then that particular sentence will be replaced by this text and along with that you will be getting proper citations or list of references now the second point is to make use of redundant phrases so here we can talk about this sentence as mentioned earlier it can be clearly seen that the results are good so unnecessarily indirect words have been used so this sentence is really not specific so how you can correct that so first you have to copy this sentence you can paste it here in this prompt box and then you may use this prompt remove redundant words and improve clarity of this sentence enter so you can see that so simply you can write the results are positive and also the second way is to specifically mention about 
any section or sub section rather than only mentioning about as mentioned earlier as discussed before etc now the third point is to make use of repetitive sentence structure so if you observe these sentences then these are kind of repetitive structures the survey was conducted the data was analyzed the results were discussed so copy this into this prompt box and then you can use this prompt just rewrite these sentences with varied concise structure and tone so you can modify these prompts as per your need copy into this prompt box and you can see that you have few of the options you can choose one of these options so i feel this is good then definitely i can copy this and replace this sentence now the fourth mistake is to make use of wordy and vague sentences so you can go through this sentence it is important to keep in mind that one of the possible causes of the low grades might be the lack of sleep among students so this is really a lengthy sentence so for better clarity you can make it concise and for that you can rewrite this sentence and for that you have to select this sentence and you need to click on ai edits under ai edits you can click on paraphrase and it is recommended to move ahead with academically and jenny will be suggesting you the best concise version of your text which has even better clarity so if you think this is the best fit then you can simply click on replace selection so that this previous sentence would be replaced with this rewritten version now let's turn towards the fifth mistake which is to make use of poorly structured arguments so here you can observe this sentence some say social media helps education but it's distracting so it's confusing so there is no any clarity logic or literature support so you have to opt the same method so you can use this prompt make this argument clear balanced and evidence based so you can see this you have got this longer version you can put a prompt as make it concise obviously in the first prompt itself you can include this word so now you can see this is the concise version so you can replace this sentence with this version which comes with clarity and proper literature support now the next point is to make use of weak paragraph transitions so here you can observe this sentence online learning is popular students also use social media time management is a problem so in these three statements you won't find proper transition or flow and because of that i have used this prompt connect these ideas into a smooth academic paragraph in concise manner followed by this text so you can see this i have got several choices you can go through this and pick the best fit and replace this sentence now the last point is to make use of repetitive phrasing you can observe this first sentence the purpose of this study is to analyze students behavior and the behavior of students is analyzed using a survey so few words when we repeat in different sentences then that hampers the clarity and engagement so in order to correct it simply you have to select this sentence then click on ai edit and here you have to use this simplify feature and you can move ahead with academically however you can also practice this other modes as well and here you can see that jenny has suggested highly effective concise version which has removed all the repetitions and hence it becomes better engaged text so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you please do not forget to refer to this video description for contact and discount related information so thank you once again please do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so i'll see you in my next video bye bye